Wanna go to the beach? Hmm? Wanna go to the beach? Wanna go to the beach? Come on then. Come on then. Ready? Go to the beach? Go to the beach? Go to the beach? Well, good morning guys. Welcome back to another episode. Me, KT, and the dog here are just on our way down to the beach. And if I don't trip over him first, we are gonna go swimming because his fur is still pretty bad from when he was at the shelter. Um, obviously they don't get the opportunity to groom all of the dogs all of the time. And so he was shedding like crazy when we got him. So with his new diet and also the fact that we keep on taking him swimming and grooming him and looking after him, he is looking way better. So uh, this little salt water bath is not only good for his fur, but it's fun and he really does enjoy swimming. So that is what we're doing right now. And then after that, I'm gonna to talk to you about the cameras that I use to film these videos and also the producer Michael videos. Let me be right by your side Cause I know that this is right Don't be shy, just get to know me We can take this somewhere else You and me can find ourselves Not pretending we are lonely So in last week's video, this right here, this is the harbor that we were going around and then this is the channel that we went along and then turned around at because it leads out to the ocean. Yeah, just to give you an idea of where we are. And the beach we're going to is down like there. Oh no, Olaf, Olaf, you're gonna melt. You're gonna, let's put you up here so someone can see you. Hang in there, buddy. Oh no, he's got a spell now. So he's always got a little cloud, hasn't he? So he's okay. Have a good day, mate. And here's the dreaded steps, easy to go down. Absolute beep to get back up. Come on then, go to the beach. <gasps> Will you go in the beach? Hmm? Will you go in the water? <gasps> got your sunscreen on. Have you got your sunscreen on? Ready, steady, go get it. You need some sunscreen on your tongue. <laughs> what a bloody day. We gotta get some inflatable kayaks or something. Jeez, look at this little guy. Look at him. Hello mate, hello, you're the world's tiniest crab. Look at you, little weenie one. You're gonna get trodden on though. Come on, do you wanna go back in the water? Hmm? You go in the water? Come on, come on. Diesel, not up there. Do you wanna go in the water? Ready, ready? Yeah. Come on then. Oh, oh, it's cool, oh, it's chilly. Oh. Come on. God, it is so clear today. So yeah, this is brilliant because it's basically this like little plateau that goes all the way out to where the dark blue starts there. So it's great for him because he can swim, but he can also stand up on his back legs if he wants to. Come on, that's it, you gotta swim. Yeah, good boy. There we go. Yoo-hoo, good boy. Come here then, come here. Give me a push, give me a push. Put your legs down. Yeah, good boy, good boy. Oh, I gotta put my shoulders in. Hold on, I gotta put my shoulders in. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, oh, it's cold, mate. Hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, all right, there we go. Like a little baby, huh? Like a little baby. And this is it, we just come out and <laughs> he swims a bit and then he comes and likes to sit and just chill out. And this is what we do. Oh, come on, keep swimming. Keep swimming. There you go. There you go. I got ya. I got ya. Good boy. And this is it. This is how I taught him to swim. Was just to come out here, he'd do like a few little paces or paddles, and then I'd pick him up. And then he'd just hang out. And then we'd do more. And now he can actually swim way more than he lets on. He just likes to do this. And pretend like he can't. Come on, let's go deep. Don't, don't drink it. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Look at that face. Come here, give me a pause. Yeah. There you go. You're a little fish, aren't you? Not bad for a desert dog. Hey, come here. Come here. Not bad for a desert dog, are you? Huh? So, this is probably not the most flattering angle for you guys to see his butt, but I apologise. Um, but yeah, he was a desert dog, so he had never even seen the ocean. So, the fact that two weeks later. Two weeks later. Where are you going? Where are you going? Two. Two. I'm trying to film. Can I film? Are you going? There we go. So considering that two weeks later, he's now somewhat swimming, it's, it's pretty amazing. And what a place to teach a dog how to swim as well. I'm so lucky. Go on then, go swim. Go swim. Good boy. 
другой. Come on, then. Come on. Let's go. Let's go back. Let's go back. Ready? Ready? Good boy. Good boy. Help! Oh, okay, cool. I see. I rescue you, huh? Yeah, good boy. Come on, then. Help! <laughs> Help! <laughs> good boy. Good boy. Should we go swim? Let's go swim. Come on. Come on. Let's <laughs> run. Good boy. Here I am. Here I am. See, wherever you go. Be plastic in the ocean. Pick it up, throw it away. I wanna make you feel so good. I can help you set the mood. Cause all I wanna do is hold you. Let me get under your skin to find the secrets you won't say. Let me be the one you talk. Well, he is all bathed and smelling, well, smelling like a wet dog, but he will smell nice when he dries. Uh, get out of it. Hey, you're on camera, can't do that. It's PG channel, remember? Uh, so yeah, he's all sorted. So I am gonna go inside, make some lunch, and then I will talk to you about some of the equipment that I use, or all of the equipment that I use to make these videos. Clap sink. I'll do it quietly so the dog doesn't shit himself. Okie dokie. First of all, I like Big Mutts and I cannot lie. Although mine now is like medium. We need to put some weight on him. Diesel, where are you? Hello. Hello. So he's been bathed. He's now a very fluffy dog. You smell lovely though, don't you? Because you've got your doggy deodorant on. Yeah, you smell lovely. Uh, so he's just been crashed out for the last hour or so after getting his little bath. He hates it, but then like he actually quite likes it when he's all clean and he curls up in his bed, don't you? Hey? So I figured that we'd take a little bit of time to talk about some of the equipment that I use or all of the equipment that I use to make these YouTube videos both for my channel and for the Producer Michael channel. I get tons of DMs from people asking what camera I use, what software, blah, blah, blah. So I'm not gonna make this super nerdy. I'm just gonna show you what's in my bag. Uh, and then if you have questions, then you can either ans ask them in the comments or you can head over to our Discord channel, uh, which is basically a chat room if you've never used Discord before. Uh, it's kind of a chat room that we've built this awesome little community uh, around the swords brand and uh, yeah there's there's like uh, photo chat there's watches there's car chat there's general chit chat all kinds of stuff so if I'm not there personally to answer your question then we'll have one of the guys in there that definitely will be able to help you out so without further ado let's talk about what equipment I use um first of all this my friends is not what you think it is this is a Joby gorilla pod uh, and even though it looks like an adult's pleasure device, it is not. Well, it is. It brings you pleasure through having a very stable camera, no matter what the conditions. Uh, so I use this mainly for like selfie stuff. So when I'm doing uh, like my vlogging, then I'll have this set up like so, and then I hold it like that with the camera on the top. And it's just a bit more comfortable than having to like hold the camera out at arm's length. I can bend my arm a little bit. So that's what I use this uh, tripod for. So I haven't planned any of this. Everything that's in my bag is exactly how it was when I finished the last shoot. So you're seeing it in the way that I use it. This here is a GoPro Hero 8 and it is on one of these dual suction cup mounts. 
oh, dog hair in my mouth. And this is what I use for any of my car stuff. Now, they do make the single ones, and this company, Delkin, uh, they do a single one too, and it's good. It's much better than the GoPro one, but I still recommend that if you're doing anything where you aren't going to be able to reach the camera, so like if it's on a car or anywhere where the camera is basically gonna be out of sight, then go for the double. It's so much more uh, stable and it, you got a fail safe. So even if one comes loose, you've still got the other one. These things are incredible. I've got about five or six of them and they're very stable and I use them for every single shot that I do on a car with the GoPro Hero 8, which is this guy and also that guy that I'm filming with. Uh, these are the best action cameras you can buy right now. I'm blown away by how good the quality is. I mean, I'm filming this on the GoPro instead of filming it on my big camera just because I was already filming on this earlier on and I know that it's good. The only thing that I am doing is using an external microphone. So this external mic that I've got here, I've got in my pocket, um, that is what you're hearing me through, not through the GoPro's built-in mic, which is good for out and about and like action stuff, but I wanted this to be nice and crispy so you could hear what I was saying. So this is my camera bag. Oh, before I start, the bag itself is a, the first bag that I ever got from Lowepro. So Lowepro are one of my sponsors. They give me all of my camera bags and this was the very first one I got um, when they sponsored uh, a load of photographers to go to the Winter Olympics. I didn't go to the Winter Olympics, but I heard about the sponsorship and I emailed them and said, hey guys, I uh, didn't receive my bag in the mail. And so Tim Sadler, who was the, the marketing manager there, he called me back up and he was like, hey, I've seen you work, I like it. Uh, let's send you a camera bag and uh, see how we get on. And probably, where are we now? Honestly, I've probably been working with Lowepro for like 10 or 12 years, so that's incredible. So yeah, this is a 10 or 12 year old bag and it's still going strong. And I've cut bits off it that I didn't like and I've modified it and it's, yeah, still awesome. Going through what I've got in here, I'll come to this in a second, but my main camera that I shoot most of this stuff on is the Sony a7 III. The reason I like this camera is because it's tiny. So it's really small and lightweight. The heaviest thing about this camera right now is the lens that's on it. It shoots 4K, really nice 4K, and you can shoot in log mode, which again, I'm not gonna go too nerdy with this, but if you know what log mode is, you know what log mode is. Um, and so that's why I like the uh, this body. 4K uh, at uh, 24p so regular speed 4k when i do my slow-mo stuff which i can slow down uh for, what do I slow it down to? 20%, so I can slow down the footage to 20% of its original speed from this camera. That's in 1080p. And then what I do is I just take that full HD 1080p footage and then I upscale it to 4K and it still looks great. So when you see any of my videos or any of the Producer Michael videos and we've used slow-mo, that is from this camera and it is actually high definition 1080p footage that we have, or I have up -resed to 4K and it still looks great. Really, really good camera for the type of photography that I'm doing. I then put this guy on the top, which is the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. That goes on the top of the camera there. This plugs into the side and now I have really nice crispy audio. It's very directional, which means that if the camera isn't pointed at you, so if I was talking now and you were hearing the audio from this, I would sound kind of muffled because I'm behind the camera. But if I'm this way around, it's super nice. And if there's any noise that side, it doesn't get picked up too much. So for a vlog setup, I don't think you can beat this. I really don't. Um, I looked long and hard for a setup that was gonna work for me. This is the one that I stuck with. and I'm very glad that I did. It has never let me down. Always produce really good results um, and yeah just fantastic camera so the the lav mic that i'm currently wearing which i believe lives in one of these this one i have two of them and so these are fairly inexpensive they're about 150 dollars it's the row uh, not the road it's the zoom f1 and so it's basically a little pack that goes on your belt it has the uh, the clip-on lav mic and then it has the battery and the memory card inside so it's a standalone recording thing so to to actually sync the audio between uh the camera and this all i do is just clap at the very beginning of the video i listen to the audio from the microphone i find where i've clapped and i see where i've clapped on the video i line them up and then for the rest of the video i know that my audio is in sync so these are great little microphones we've been using these on the producer michael channel for the house tours recently and they've been working out great so i think we'll continue to do that i then have a bucket load of gopros so i've got the little gopro mounts 
I have one Hero 7, no, Hero 6. I have two Hero 6s and... Oh yeah, and then I've got that Hero 8 that's on the, um, the suction cup and then the Hero 8 that I'm filming on now. Uh, if you saw earlier on while I was swimming and I was doing stuff where you could see both of my hands but I was still holding the camera, I use these little bite mounts. And so basically the GoPro attaches onto the top here and then you hit in your ass like that and the GoPro sits there and then you just look around and then you can just use your hands and that's it. And so that is how I get those shots. This is the best mount for driving, for swimming, for any type of action sport because it gives you an exact field of view of what you're seeing. On your helmet, they're a bit high, or on top of your head, they're a bit high. On your chest, they can be a bit low. So as long as you can sort of have something in your mouth that you can then switch to your hands, like as long as it's not something like riding a motorbike, for example, I wouldn't want to use it then. Um, this is such a great mount and super cheap. I think they were like 15 or $20 each. Uh, so I have two of those for my two GoPros. The Hero 6s are great. I use those typically for like C camera shots. So that will be time lapses. That would be putting them in places where they might get run over or a stone thrown up at them or something. Uh, and then I stick with these GoPros for like the Hero action shots. So that will be like on a car, pointing at an exhaust, that kind of thing. Um, because they are just so good. The footage cuts between this $2,000 camera or $2,500, however much this is, expensive camera, and I take footage from a $300 action cam and I just cut between the two and you'd be hard pushed really to know the difference if you weren't a camera nerd. For you guys, the majority of you guys watching that just enjoy watching videos, it's gonna look just as crispy on this as it does on that. This contraption is something that I use when I shoot the Producer Michael videos. Um, when I'm shooting my vlogs, I just shoot like this and I use the camera this way and I talk to the camera like this and then I turn it around and I film like this and it's a lot of like, on the fly stuff, right? So I'm always having to pick the camera up, film something, put it back down, drive somewhere. When we're on the Producer Michael shoots, we've obviously got uh, more time. We're trying to make things look a lot more luxurious and high-end. And so this allows me to get nice, steady shots. Also, when we're filming, typically our shoots go for like an hour or more. And so that means that when I'm holding a camera out like this, or like this, for an hour, it gets to be a real workout. And so having the two handles on this small rig cage really helps just so I can tuck my elbows in, get comfortable, and I can kind of keep the shots nice and smooth. So that's what I use that for. And then the last thing in here, oh, I have another lens as well. So I have this, which is the Sony uh, 24 to 105 F4. I didn't go for the 2.8, I went for the F4. This is image stabilized, which means that when I'm shooting using this, it has like some cool technology that gets rid of any camera shake or wobble. Really nice lens. I wish they did an 18 to 105, because then I would get rid of this lens and I would just use this one. Because the ability to zoom in to 105 millimeters is amazing. That Because that's quite a zoom. So again, if you're not into cameras and you don't know what that means, it basically just means that this is a brilliant all-round lens to get wide panoramic shots, wide shots of landscapes, also zoom in and get shots of things in the distance. So really solid lens. This right here is the controller, little cool Transformers controller for my drone. So that's my controller, my phone goes here, and you control it that way. And then the drone itself is this little guy, which is about as big as my very first mobile phone, the Nokia 5110, hello? This drone is awesome. You fold it out like this, take off your little lens cover, and that's it, <laughs> off it goes. So portable, so lightweight, so easy to use, set up, break down, everything about it is cool. The video quality, full, 4K video, you can do slow-mo if you want, just unbelievable. It's got a Zeiss lens on it, so the camera, no, not Zeiss, is it Zeiss lens? It's a Hasselblad camera that's on it, so really, really good quality optics in this tiny little package here. And then I run a neutral density filter on there as well, which just helps to make the colors pop a little bit better um, and also to reduce that shutter speed so the footage looks a lot smoother. Great drone, the DJI Mavic 2 Pro. If you're in the market for a drone, then this one I think offers the best value for money and also value in terms of its size to quality of footage ratio. So the next thing I wanna show you 
given that we've done all of the camera stuff, is how I edit all of these things on the fly. Now, I do have a big laptop. It's a Lenovo P70. It's about this big. It's about this thick. It has a 4K screen. It's unbelievable. It has 64 gigs of RAM, like more hard drives than I know what to do with. Unbelievable laptop. Problem is, the size lap that you need to actually use it as a laptop is pretty big and it's not the most convenient for lugging around. I do have a backpack that it fits into very easily um, and it's fine, but I did want something just a little bit more compact. And so recently uh, I just bought this, which is the Microsoft Surface Pro 7. Now I have this in a little rugged case, but essentially what it is is a tablet with a fold out Bluetooth keyboard a little kickstand at the back here, boop, and that's it. And so basically, this is now my new little travel setup. And the thing that I like most about it is that you can take the keyboard off and then just use it with the pen right here, which is a little touch pen. You can use it as just a regular tablet. It's essentially just a little laptop, that, that's what it is. Um, and what I do with this when I'm actually on the road is I use this hub, because if you look at on the sides here, we have one USB-C, one USB-3, and that's it. That's all you get in terms of the ports on it. So this hub goes into here, and then that gives me now three USB-C, uh, sorry, three USB-3 ports, plus the additional one here. And it has a built-in card reader, SD and micro SD. Now, this camera uses SD, the GoPros use micro SD, and so that means that when I'm on the road, all I need to do is plug this in, I plug my one terabyte, it's so incredible that, that things have gotten to this size now. Look how tiny that is. It's like the size of a very small, talking about old cell phones, it's like the size of a Nokia 8210. It's weenie. And this thing is a one terabyte solid state drive, USB-C, so it's faster than hell. And all I do is plug that into my little dock as well, into there, there it is. And now my memory cards go into this, I go on here, I drag and drop them. They go onto my one terabyte hard drive. I don't even have to touch the internal storage on this, this uh, tablet, so I can keep that running nice and fast. And then I can edit straight off this hard drive. I use proxies on Adobe Premiere Pro so that this doesn't have to edit 4K footage. It actually just edits a low resolution version of the file. So it makes it way easier on this to use and it doesn't bog it down. And so if I really needed to, I could do a full edit, a full 4K edit, everything from import to transcode, to render those proxies out, to edit the video and then upload it all from this little tablet. And that is super exciting to me because I just love the fact that now when I go traveling, if I go on a camping trip or whatever, I have a backpack, which this will now fit into, and that's it. I am a self-sustained or self-contained movie making setup. And it just blows my mind that if you went back five years, if you went back 10 years, the amount of money you would need to create the quality of video that we're now able to do out of a backpack is in the millions. Like you would not be able to do the stuff that we can do now for anything short of a million bucks. You'd have to rent helicopters, you'd have to have big edit suites, you'd have to pay people to edit them, you'd have to have multiple camera crews. Like it just, my mind boggles at what we can do now on such a shoestring budget. And it means that creativity can just go through the roof because now money isn't a limiting factor. You could shoot stuff on a GoPro and a drone that would rival Hollywood movies from 10 or 15 years ago. Like it's insane, it is insane. So if you've ever thought about getting into movie making or you know doing YouTube or whatever, now is the time because it has never been more accessible and with stuff that you can fit in a backpack, you can be the next insert famous YouTube person here if that's what you wanna do. I just love the fact that my creativity now isn't bound by any type of like physical stuff. My creativity is just limited by what can come out of my noggin. So really, really excited about this year and about this channel and kind of creating new stuff. 
Oh, last thing, uh, I use these Bose QuietComfort wireless Bluetooth headphones. They are amazing. The best thing I've ever bought for traveling, bar none. They're about 300 bucks, so they were, or 300 pounds. So they are quite spendy, but oh my God, so worth it. You put them on, turn on the noise canceling, especially on an airplane, and it just goes, and then it's silent. And there's no more screaming kids. And there's no more noise from the engines. It's just... So if you are in the market for a pair of noise cancelling headphones, these are phenomenal. And they're Bluetooth, so when I'm editing, I don't even have to have a cable. I can just be like oh, this, just uh, with no noise. So there you have it. That's my equipment. I figured I'd show you guys because so many people have been asking on YouTube uh, and on uh, Instagram. I hope this has been helpful. If you do have any questions, then head over to Discord and you can ask there in the photography chat section or drop a comment down below and I'll do my best to answer it. And I will link to all of this stuff as well. So if you do want to buy it, then check it out. There'll be a link to it on Amazon. Um, and yeah, you can buy it through that. So yeah, there you go. That's all the nerdy stuff out of the way. So now what I'd like to do is go down the beach again because pff, why not? I live 10 minutes away. Um, the doggo will not be allowed to go in the water because I'm not gonna bathe him twice in a day, but we should get a nice sunset tonight looking outside now at the weather. So uh, yeah, why don't you guys come with me and we will head back down the beach and catch the sunset. What a great way to end a Sunday. Well, it's like deja vu. We were here about, what, eight hours ago. So we're just making it down for the very last bit of the sunset and um, everybody is leaving from the beach because the beaches are open here now. So uh, yeah, as everybody leaves, we show up and we should just about catch the end of it over there. What do you think, mate? Oh, good. <laughs> That's what you think. Alright guys, well that is going to end this episode. We just caught the last of the sunset and it was absolutely beautiful. I hope you enjoyed it. It was really fun taking him swimming this morning and also showing you guys the equipment that I use to make these videos. Uh, don't forget, we are running a Memorial Day sale. This will run until this coming Friday. Uh, I think that's the 29th. 20% off all of the Swords merch. So if you want to get yourself something, then use code MEMORIAL20 at checkout and you'll get 20% off your whole order. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do. That really helps out. Give this video a thumbs up. And remember, what do they need to remember? He doesn't care. Remember, until next time, don't do anything I wouldn't do. See ya.